Hi and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking into this video. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to level up in any class fast in Hell Let Loose. Make sure that you stay until the very end of this video so you won't miss any important step or information. And without further ado, let's get on it. So the players categories here in the Hell Let Loose, so there are actually 14 different classes. In Hell Let Loose, the players can choose to spawn in over the course of a match. So these classes are split into four categories. So the command, infantry, armor, and the recon. So each category oversees important roles to help their teammates beat out the competition and fulfill certain needs on the battlefield. So here are the categories. So first, we have the commander. So the commander will expand resources to reinforce their team, deploying munitions, calling in air support, and adding multiplayer to player capture abilities on objectives. And for the infantry, it is the most diverse category in game. Infantry players will be engaging in firefights, capturing objectives, and earning the most skills overall and for the armor armor players deal with the heavy vehicles and tanks there are only ones who can drive our arm armored vehicles some of the only ones that can perform vehicle maintenance and use tanks to hold down choke points and lay down suppressive fire on contested areas of the map and lastly for the recon we have the recon players who our uh, the recon players will use scope rifles and binoculars to scout out the enemy team harass enemy players at great distances to keep them off balance and make call outs of upcoming enemy movements to keep their team in the know and Next, we have here, so the key to leveling up in Hell Let Loose is to play into class's purpose and be proactive. So of the 14 classes, each is given access to specific weapons and gear, making each class play differently from one another. So certain classes are more suited to individual combat, while others are meant to be support roles, enticing players to help their squad and teammates with supplies and healing items. So playing the role a or playing the role a given class has will grant far more XP than simply pretending to be Rambo and running into firefights and will result into far more victories than defeats. So these are the list of those roles. So you can just first, we have the commander. So the role of the commander, you have the use resources to call in the entire artillery and air support deploy bonuses and simply drops onto the map for teammates and then loadout you have the smg handgun bandages watch and binoculars and next we have the infantry so we have different classes here so for the officer so officers can apply spawn points for their squad and teammates control who is in their squad and use the command voice channel to talk to other officers and the commander so their loadout this have the smg or rifle handgun frag grenades smoke grenades bandages watch and binoculars so if you want to continue watching you can pause this video and do that and for the next we also have um the armor. So under the armor, we have um, crewmen. So crewmen are focused on piloting and maintaining armored vehicles for their team, engaging enemy players, and using the armor to support assaults and defenses of objective points. So as a result, they are the least equipped and armed class in the entire game. For and for their loadout, they have either a handgun and bandages, or a handgun smoke grenades, bandages, and a touch or a torch for repairs. Then lastly, we have the recon. So we have here in here we have snipers. So snipers are the only class with access to scope rifles, tasked with harassing enemies at a distance, taking out troublesome machine gun nests and enemy marksmen, and working alongside the spotter to relay enemy information to their team. And for the loadout, um, they have sniper rifle, handgun, frag grenades, and then bandages. So while some of these classes overlap in terms of roles and equipment, each class is ultimately only as strong as the team it is a part of. So infantry needs armor support, supply drops, and directions on where to concentrate their efforts. So armor units need infantry support to keep enemy anti-tank players from having easy targets to fire rockets at and need commanders to use resources to spawn fresh vehicles into the fight as the match progresses. 
So Rekan can be troublesome at a distance but can be easily overwhelmed when facing multiple opponents in close quarters. So every role is important and they can all only work at full strength when playing into the role's purpose in the game. And so that's it for this video and I hope this helped you and if it did, please make sure to like, subscribe and hit notification bell button so you don't miss a video. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.